I am in Donegal today with Stephen Hanna, an award-winning landscape photographer, and stop, uh, stop. he's all right. <laughs> we are up in up in Donegal. We're sort of sideways across in Donegal, out on about the one of the furthest parts you can get to in we Donegal. Are. Yep, absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. I've blackmailed, bribed, uh, begged my way into coming along on one of his photography shoots uh, to try and get a little bit of insights into the places that he knows about that I don't know about. So that's the plan today. We're going to go walk away up there, explore, um, and Stephen's also going to answer some questions that have been submitted to me via Instagram. <laughs> You might have noticed there's quite a few sheep up here with red, white, and blue on them. Well, that's actually because those are sheep from Northern Ireland, or the north of Ireland, <laughs> and uh, fearing for what might happen post-Brexit, they've decided to pack it in and have uh, run over the border. <laughs> Without warning, Stephen has just broken into a run yelling something about the clouds. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. We're now just... Oh. Okay, so I'm not sure how much of that you actually got, but yeah, the last 15 minutes have been absolutely insane. I was just standing there and uh, Stephen said, have you got waterproof covers for your cameras? And I was like, why? I looked around, away over in that direction, and I can see a cloud starting to form and a rainbow, and he's like, rainbow, rainbow! And ran up to get his stuff set up to shoot the rainbow. I was sitting there eating my beans and then bang we were just hit by this unbelievable sudden rush of wind and hail and it lasted for about 15 minutes during which this camera got blown off the tripod. It was 30, 15 to 30 centimeters from going off that cliff into the sea. That's how close it was. Um, all my gear on the outside, the stuff that was on the outside got soaked. The, the stove nearly went off the cliff, my cup nearly went off the cliff. <laughs> the little thing I keep my uh, gas stove in nearly went off the cliff. So just about everything nearly went off the cliff. I felt like I was going to go off the cliff, but it's eventually passed. <sighs> and now we're just waiting to see what the light's going to do. Can I answer some? Whoa, the gas nearly rolled away. We have literally the whole 
section of cliff line and we're like perched in this little co sloped corner. <laughs> Trying to stop items either blowing away or rolling down this hill and going off the cliff in the oblivion is proving slightly difficult. First question. Okay. Where are we? Really remote part of Donegal. This behind us is called Stirl Ridge. Very, very popular with climbers. You kind of see why. Is it not hard when you're somewhere but you have to carry cameras and stuff? I've got six cameras with me. I've used... You probably used most of them. I've used all of them so yeah, far, so yeah. How many did you bring? I just got one. You just got one? I'm a phone. Six? That's, yeah. What happened to the beard? Kind of got to the stage where it kind of was looking just really out of control. Yeah, the beard had to go. Um, it might come back again. But... Favourite location for long exposures? Something that is quite rugged that whenever you do a long exposure and the water kind of blurs around it, it's really nice contrast because you've got like silky, yeah. smooth water, but like really crazy, rugged, sharp rocks. So, so somewhere with water? Yeah. Oh yeah. 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 What camera should I buy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> what did we say on the way down? Fuji GFX oh, yeah. media yeah. format, six gram, body only. Yeah. End of that question. <laughs> That's it answered once and for all. What well, well, Just use your iPhone. Medium um, format. Yeah. Just use your iPhone. Uh, now this is quite a serious one. Where does Stephen get his haircut? That fade though. Okay, so uh, <laughs> Laird Law male grooming in the tar centre of Alameda. I see the hair. That's probably not there really. Uh, no, <laughs> that's, a, just, we'll, that's a great advert just, for. Just forget about that. We'll just put, it <laughs> put the hat back on, on. please. Yeah, put the hat okay. back on. Yeah. Like, easiest way to set your focus point at night. So, uh, so for Astro. If you've got clear skies, um, what we would be doing is, is trying to focus through live view. So put on a manual focus, um, try and find the brightest star that you can, um, put it in the middle of the frame and then zoom in as far as you can. Just adjust the manual focus ring until the star is as small as possible. So you want it to be like almost like a pinpoint. Then I would normally take a test shot and then zoom in and just check the focus. And keep checking focus as the night goes on because sometimes um, it'll get knocked out. Do you prefer coffee as you wait for a long exposure in nature or coffee as you wait for fake eyelashes to be glued onto a bride's eyes at a house? Who can I ask? Do you want to say who? It's Clive. <laughs> um, oh, long exposures all the time. Like, look at that. Like, Epic. sitting, getting a nice coffee brewed, which we will do after we've had dinner and just enjoy that. Like, can't beat it, really. Yeah. It's Clive. You need to get out next time with us. Yeah, and bring I, your fake eyelashes. Clive will come, yeah. Fake eyelashes. I could see yeah. Clive with fake I eyelashes. Could, I could actually, he has yeah. got quite. He's, and he's got good cheekbones yeah. and stuff as well. It would probably look. Full really makeup. Well. Yeah. That's all the questions. I'm going to have mine now. I think mine's is ready. Yeah. Got to get something to eat and then wait. The golden hour is in half an hour. Half an hour. So that's when we really want to be shooting. Um, yeah. Just as the sun drops lower and then we'll get a much yeah. nicer light hitting that. trying to take a photograph with my hands in these gloves and it's still numb so I just took a photograph with my nose it is absolutely stunning up here it's just beautiful I and mean, I can't get over the color of the sea it's just look at it I don't know if you can quote the cameras this camera isn't quite picking it up but it's almost green green clear water Although I can't say that this local area is going to be particularly well famed for its self, self, sense of health and safety. Observe. You see this fence right here? See where this fence runs along? And then the fence drops and you can sort of see a little gentle slope. See just there? Just, just um, five, ten meters in that direction. Come with me and I'll show you. Right. So that little non-fence bit, that bit that I could just have casually kept wondering. It was off the edge of that. It's insane. And what do you see what's well, just over there? I'm not going over, I'll put the camera over. Kind of go 
on pink in the distance. So I think we just showed it, it's pretty cool. So 